Hey, last night, como estamos, Eddie Olivo, DJ Pimelón, desde Riverside, Califas. Gracias por checking us out aquí on Tejano Love Radio. We'll be on the air from 6 to 9 p.m. Califas time, but I'm only going to do Facebook Live up until 7 p.m. I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Hector Gutierrez tonight, so let everybody know we'll be on live with Hector Gutierrez on the phone. Talk to him about his new single, as we'll see. Eso sí, desde cómo estamos, Eddie Olivo, el DJ, Firmelón, de Severón, de Severón, Califas. Gracias a todos por escuchar. Gracias por choosing Tejano Network Radio. Going to be on the air from 6 to 9 p.m. Califas time tonight, Raza. Uh, I, was, I wasn't going to talk about it, but I, I might talk about it tonight. Uh, you know, about this uh, Latin Grammys Award uh, that, that just happened just recently. Uh, first of all, congratulations to Mr. Juan Trevino uh, for, for winning that award. Um, you know, and... Uh, it's it, the the reason I say what I say is is because it's disappointing to know that an actual Tejano artist didn't win that award. Uh, in my opinion, in in my uh, experience of doing Tejano música for almost forty plus years, I mean that style that he has is not Tejano música. And it, it, and if people say, well, why do you got to categorize it? Because the Latin Grammy categorizes it. That's why. If they're going to categorize it, then categorize it correctly and award the people appropriately. And, uh, you know, uh, whether somebody got a, 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 their information in there uh, right at the last minute, whatever it is, if it's at Tejano Grupo, then they got it in there, you know. Uh, and, and knowing that there's other grupos that should have been looked at and, and, and uh, nominated for that, at least my opinion. Once again, this is all my opinion. Uh, you know, I, I feel that uh, once again, that the Tejano industry itself has been robbed. But once again, I, I'm not a voting member, you know, and I, I don't think voting members can be part of the selection to be nominated for a category. And from what I understand, uh, some people might be voting members that were selected to be nominated. Uh, this this what I heard. I, I don't know for a fact, but that's what I heard. I, I just wanted to pass that on to people who might know and shed some light on that, if that's the truth. You know, uh, if there is somebody who's part of the voting team for the Latin Grammys who won an award or were put in the nomination category, is that really fair? You know, uh, you know you've already got all the friends up there and the buddies that work in there with you at that, at that uh, Latin Grammy. So there's questionable doubt as to how legitimate even the Latin Grammy, the Hano portion of this whole event is, you know. Um, this comes to question, just a question, you know. I, I don't know if this is true or not, but uh, if it is, well, what a shame, you know. Uh, because if it isn't part of the process and it isn't, if it isn't part of the regulations to say that, hey, if you're part of the mo voting members of this committee, even if you have a grupo and you just came out with musica, you can't be part of this uh, event because it shows. Uh, 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 I can't think of the word. It, it, I want to say um, there's questionable actions that that could be taken and and, and may have been taken. Who, who knows? But uh, I don't want to say too much. Talk too much about that. That's not because I'm just hearing and and repeating of, of things that I've heard already. Uh, from artists themselves and uh, from comments that I've seen. Um, so uh, I don't know. I, I, I just, you know, I, I wish an actual Tejano artist would have won. Uh, but yeah, you know, Juan Trevino won. I think that's his name. Uh, and uh, congratulations to him. It's not his fault. Not his fault that he won, you know, that he was nominated for that or he was uh, selected for that. Uh, all, all I can say is that, you know, if because I posted it on Facebook, so I'll say it again here on live. If you're going to be part of an organization that talks about a certain genre of musica and you're going to be a voting member, damn it, you should be educated and well-versed and with experience to know what that genre is clearly defined as. And, and if you, you hear or see some grupo that's put in a category uh, of a genre that you know that isn't the category or genre that you know of yours you're voting for, 
then you need to speak up. If you don't speak up yourself, you're part of the problem itself. You shouldn't be part of that board uh, voting uh, committee. Um, so with that being said, you know, uh, uh, somebody said, well, be, sign up to be a voting member. Well, it's not that easy. It's not that easy just for anybody to be a voting member of, of a Latin Grammy uh, organization like that. Uh, I, I can't imagine it, it would be that easy. I haven't seen myself, but I can't imagine it. Just anybody can be a voting member. You have to have some background, some experience, uh, of, and um, which is clearly what I just said. You should have. Um, but some of the people that, that do uh, uh, have, I guess, been selected to be part of that voting committee, to me it seems like either they just don't care or they're not speaking up. They're too scared to say something because they, somebody might say something to them. You know, and, and the thing is, if, if you're going to be put in that position to where it's up to you to vote, you need to speak up. You need to speak up to say what is and what isn't. Uh, when you're not doing that, like I said, then you're, you're part of the problem. You need to get away from that committee. You're just making it worse. Uh, and for what I've seen the past few years, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's disheartening to know that once again, uh, artists who have put their time, their effort, their energy, their money uh, into their their passion and what they do into those studios, uh, sometimes don't even get looked at at all. And a lot of times, these are true Tejano artists who've been out there for years on the road doing this and well deserving of something. And from what I understand, the Latin Grammys is the epitome of an award that somebody can receive. And, and how many of you know that the Latin Grammy award itself is only worth like maybe $15. That's all it's worth. But the history behind it is part of a musical uh, 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 genre of all, of all sorts that if you make it to the Grammys, you're top of the line, top notch, the very best of them all. And uh, for that genre, but once again, a Tejano artist wasn't selected for that, and they titled it the best Tejano album of the year. I, that gets under my skin, and this is why I'm saying what I'm saying. And if I lose some lose some listeners tonight because of what I'm saying, I'm sorry. But somebody has to say something. You know, when you when like I said, if you don't say something, you see something that's wrong that's happening in front of you. You don't say nothing. You're part of the problem too. You know. So uh, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm way off, let me know. Send me a comment. Let me know that I'm just uh, totally lost in, in what I'm saying. I have no clue what I'm talking about. And, and if that's the case, then, you know, I won't go back on the air anymore because I'm totally embarrassed myself because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I don't think that's the case. I think I have a pretty good, decent clue about what I'm saying. So uh, anybody else out there, let me know what you think. Um, you know, uh, it's not to bash anybody, any artist itself, but actually the people who run the organization uh, that need to be um, educated and well versed, and 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 somebody who has some guts, some nerve to stand up and say, if if it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, it's right. You know, uh, don't tell me that there's people out there in that in that board member uh, voting members that can't identify or you know uh, differentiate what is Tejano, conjunto norteño, mexicana regional, and and so on. If that's the case. Most definitely, you don't deserve to be on that voting uh, team at all. So, here we go, Rasa. <laughs> Tonight, uh, and it just gets, it's, it's, I'm so passionate about it. Uh, this is why I say what I say and what I do what I do is because, you know, it, 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 so many times I hear from legendary artists, well, they're not giving us the airtime. They're not giving us the, a look at it. You know, I've never been awarded. I've never been looked at to be uh, uh, nominated for something like that. It's just ridiculous. I, and I, I don't understand how these... Uh, uh, awards and uh, processes go, I would understand it more if every single one of those awards, the Hano Awards that they, that, we, that they hold out there, they would put out an actual step-by-step -step process and procedures and policies. This is what it takes to get an award. If you don't have the CD or if you don't have your music by this date and it has to be uh, before that date uh, and so on, or you have to have an actual album to be nominated for an album, not just two or three songs, uh, you know, uh, and, and so on. Whatever the policy procedures are, if they were put out there for the public to see, then maybe a lot of us wouldn't be talking so much about what's happening. Uh, but I think that's what the problem is because a lot of people don't know, like myself, I don't know exactly what's going on. I read a little bit about the Grammy stuff there, 
And, you know, uh, uh, but I did read the most thing that stuck out to me the most is that you, know, you definitely can't sell that Grammy. You can't go out there and sell it once you re receive it. It's only worth $15, uh, the actual Grammy itself. Uh, and uh, a lot of people strive to get that award to be recognized by that organization. And rightfully so, because once again, because of the history of the Grammy itself uh, awards, it's, you know, it's been out there for so long. It's well publicized. It's very well sponsored. And it's something that a lot of uh, artists throughout all kinds of music strive to, to, to be uh, looked at for that specific uh, award. So, you know, I, I, I tell me what you think. I, I hope you guys put some comments on there on, my, on this video. I will post it on, on YouTube afterwards. But this is going to be a one-hour video uh, starting off the show. They're going to go to... Uh, interview me gran amigo mr hector gutierrez who just released a new single today uh he sent it to me today so uh, we'll be talking about that at 7 p.m califa's time and that's going to be at 9 p.m central standard time and, and so on so right now it's 6 11 over here in califa so in about 45 minutes we'll be talking to hector gutierrez aquí on tejano number radio.com i'm gonna kick it off with some film music i can't even speak now some film music with mi buena amiga la hermosa miss aisha nueva música que dice quien te dio permiso aquí en Tejano Never Radio. Francis Lopez, Sabrina Lu, Bejarano, mi prima, Alex Villarreal, and everybody else doing it aquí con nosotros. Dice Delia Rivera, Linda Flores, Jimmy Solís, Johnny Lopez. Gracias a todos.
Lo más reciente, gracias de mi gran amigo, la hermosa Miss Aisha. Dice, ¿quién te dio permiso? We got some junior dad con the Midwest All Stars desde el Midwest. Dice, te quiero de verdad, pero for real, gracias. Aquí estamos para ti con el Olivo DJ Firmelón desde Riverside, Calipas. Saludos, Ramón Rico. Saludos a Diana Cortés. Saludos a Liga. Ernesto González, saludos carnal. Yo tengo ganas de un beso. Quiero besarte y nada más. Porque yo estoy enamorado de tu cariño y tu modo de besar. Quiero decirte que te quiero. Quiero estar contigo hasta el final. Rodríguez, saludos carnal. Saludos, carnal. Justin Aguilero. You got it, brother. Gracias, Chris, for that chat, brother. I needed that. Seguimos con más firme onda raza, lo más reciente de Grupo Aviso Fisher and the Legendary Mr. Gary Guajardo dice, dame la mano, right here on Tejano Network Radio. Vamos pasando. Right there, brother, real grimy stuff right there. Aviso. Somebody will get uh, an 
idea of what, what's going on or what's not going on. Dame la mano porque yo no sé Saludos a la familia Salazar. Yo solo sé que nada más has de pensar. Somos dos almas que nos une un gran cariño. Que solo Dios y el que Saludos a Danny y Belma. Joe Chávez. If you just tuned in right now, I, I started out the uh, a little dialogue, not really dialogue, but between myself, <laughs> me and myself and I, uh, at the beginning of the show about the Grammys. If you guys want to check that out, I'll post a video on uh, YouTube later on tonight after the show. We got some more Freedman Musica Raza de Mr. Javi Guerra. Lo más reciente dice, La Venia Bendita. Aaron Charles, Andrus Carnal. González So, si nos afirma, si lo firme onda de Mr. Javi Guerra, le, la venía bendita aquí on Tejano Little Radio, the latest firme tunes he got uh, every Friday night. Raza aquí con Eddie Olivo, DJ Firme Don. Once again, Raza, I talked about the Grammys at the beginning of the show, and, uh, and I'm sure I'll talk about it more later on uh, as the time goes on, but uh, it's, just, it's just disheartening and disappointing to know that, um, that I, I, I truly believe it's actually the voting members uh, that we have to point the finger at to let them know, hey, Correct this. 
this is not right. This is not the style that you're saying it is, a musica. And, and, and if they're not doing that, then shame on them because they're the ones that should be setting the example of telling the Latin Grammys, this is what Tejano Musica is. And if it's not Tejano, then you know what? Then we need to make another category for that. If you got a category for Tejano and something else, then make a category for whatever it is that you got in front of you. But when you don't do that, you're just as much to blame as anybody else that uh, the, that gets an award off a title that they're not even representing. It just makes no sense to me. It, it just gets totally under my skin. Uh, infuriates me to know that this is the kind of things that go on, especially at the Grammys. At the Grammys, the, the elite place where people look forward to, to make it one day. You know, legendary artists try and strive every day. And, and I'm sure a lot of them think about, am I ever going to get a Grammy one day? You know, and, and bottom line is, really, what is an award, really? It, it's, it's just something from what I've been hearing. If you got the money, you're going to get one. You know, and, and that's a sad thing to, to understand and to uh, uh, make a, uh, a statement on. Because not just the Hano Musica goes through this. Every genre of Musica goes through the same thing that I'm talking about right now. There, there's all kinds of people saying they, they want to uh, evolve Tejano Musica. They, they wanna, they're doing something new to, to, to bring out the, the best of Tejano Musica and they're going to change it. Well, you can't change Tejano Musica. When you change the rhythm, when you change the estilo, when you change the progressiveness of that Musica, that ranchera, that cumbia, that bolero, then it's not Tejano anymore. It's something else. You made a new different genre. If, if you say you're going to put in a steel guitar, and you're going to put a, a banjo, and you're going to put a flute, and you're going to put a, whatever it is, if you add those kind of elements to it, sometimes it, it just, just changes it. It's just a whole different style of musica. A country Tejano, that's what it is, you know? It, but it's not Tejano on the progressive, what I've been playing on my shows all this time. And if you, those that, that follow me know what kind of style of musica I play. It's all Tejano progressive musica. And... and, and uh, uh, you know, I, I just get so caught up and so uh, frustrated in my own head in the thoughts that, that I want to say. I just sometimes they just don't come out. Somebody fill them in for me. <laughs> this next group I got in the queue right now, Rasa's Grupo Asalto, uh, they are on the fence for me. Uh, and they, they once again, not that doesn't that's not a negative comment. That is uh, something that you know I'm not sure to call them Tejano or Mexicana Regional. Uh, conjunto, they're in between all those, uh, and and I, I was struggling to put this on tonight, but you know they sound pretty good. They did a pretty good job, and they do a good job of what they're doing. But I really wouldn't 100% call it Tejano. Uh, you tell me what you think it is, and uh, we'll see what what you what you think. All right. Lo más reciente dice Asalto dice creo en ti aquí on Tejano Network Radio. Ya no importa cada noche que esté, cada calle o la veo que cruce, porque el cielo ha conspirado en mi favor, y no sé.
Yeah, that's a little bit too uh, too much uh, solido estilo mexicana regional. You're right, my brother. <laughs> you know, I, and that's the thing. That's exactly right. It's a little bit of a, a solido estilo. You're right, my brother. You know, I, I'm glad I, I you mentioned that, and I'm glad that I got another opinion about that from an actual uh, legendary artist who just sent me a chat message. I won't say his name, but you know what? Uh, once again, my whole purpose uh, to go on the air is to play onda chicana progresivo estilo música of the Tejano genre, you know, and and uh, I'm I'm here to do that for all the artists who have that música out there and and. Sometimes they have it sitting on the shelf because they're not sure if somebody's going to play it. I guarantee you that if it's progressive Tejano on that with some great vocals, some great arrangements, great production, I'm going to get it on the air for you. Let me know. I'm just not going to put anything on the air. You know, and sometimes, like I said, this Grupo Al Salto, is, is kind of, it was on the fence for me. And I, I, I needed somebody else's opinion to verify it, to say, yeah, that's what I thought. You know, so gracias for letting me know that. And, uh, and once again, they're not a bad grupo. They're a good grupo they, for what they do. They have a great sound, great production, everything, but it's not Tejano Progresivo Musica, mm -hmm. you know? So when, whenever I, I hear Musica, sometimes like that, because it, that one was kind of like, I don't know, man, I, 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 I should have asked somebody before I went on the air, but I'm glad I got a response. Gracias a todos ustedes for tuning in and listening to my, uh, my chatter. <laughs> Como dice, <laughs> mis desmadres, I don't know how, what else to say, you know? Uh, but I hope I'm not uh, turning any of you guys away. I hope I'm keeping you guys interested in the musica that we do play here on Keon Tejano Network Radio. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it because that's the whole purpose is to make sure we play progressive Tejano Onda for you, the listeners who truly enjoy it. So, ahí les va una rita de Mr. Juan López, Botas de Vaquero, aquí on Tejano Network Radio. Martínez, saludos, Yolanda Torres, Fernando Blanco.
más catán. Nancy Legarda. Check out this group, Raza. Tell me if you can tell me who it is. If you can, pues, I'll send you a lollipop. Eso sí. <laughs> Firme Musica dice 90s jam aquí on Tejano Never Radio. Razón de mi sin razón Chicana Progressivo Estilo aquí on Tejano Never Radio. I'll tell you later on, that's it, the artist lets me tell you. Uh, we got some fancy fuentes, dice Inocente Pobre Amigo aquí on Tejano Never Radio. Se parece tanto a mí. Mejor dime la verdad, sé que me vas a abandonar. 
Eso sí. Down yeah, Highway 21, that's who it was. Legendary Mr. Juan Cifuentes dice Inocente pobre amigo aquí on Tejano Network Radio Dice un shout out para toda la raza desde Edinburgh, Texas De parte de la familia Salazar Escuchando aquí con nosotros Once again, raza, all this música that I air on my show And I love to brag about it You know why I love to brag about it? Because some badass dudes, man That record out there in the studios And let us air their música con todo el mundo Not just a local area here in Califas But throughout the world Anybody who has internet can hear this musica and chime in, and I do it for a lot of the people who are out there in the military, because I was in the military at one time, and I hated the fact that I couldn't hear my own musica that I wanted to jam out to whenever I wanted to. So this is why we chose to do this on the internet, a worldwide audience for all the people out there who don't get a chance to do it, who are away from home, away from the musica, and it's especially for all of you out there. So see, uh, I, let me, I, and I'm stumbling on my words now because this next grupo, this is a grupo, once again, who is... Totally a perfect definition of what true Tejano Progresivo Estilo Musica is. And I don't think that they ever even received a Tejano Music Award. If they did, I'm wrong. And, and, and somebody correct me. But if they didn't, what a damn shame on the Tejano Music Awards. Because these guys were some bad dudes back in the day. They should have received all kinds of Grammy Awards for the musica they put out there. This is Mi Tequila Band. Dice, uh, requested musica by dice, Henry Hinojosa who was also part of that group back in the day. He said, Amorosa y Cariñosa. 
aquí on Tejano Network Radio. Saludos a Gilbert Machuca, Bell Hinojosa, el Roger Jenny Llamas, Llamas. Siempre has sido tú conmigo. Brady Torres, que siempre descansa en paz. Y mi tequila band right here on Tejano Network Radio con Eddie Olivo, el DJ Firmelo.
No más reciente raza de Fusion Band dice, te quiero seguir amando right here on Tejano Network Radio. We got another request of Pace of Firma Música del pasado with la raza de Houston. Feature Mr. Joe Wajo Carmona dice, te vi partir aquí on Tejano Network Radio. to log off Facebook real quick, but I'll come back on in another hour uh, because I'm going to do an interview with Hector Gutierrez here at, uh, in about five minutes. So you guys tune in at www.thehandleneverradio.com. I'll be there still doing the, the radio station, uh, the show, and uh, I'll be back on Facebook in one hour. All right, gracias once again for tuning in aquí con nosotros on Facebook Live.